Flashing and weeps are an essential component for weather protection of partially grouted single wife masonry walls. In this segment of the CPG Concrete Masonry Design and Construction video series, we're going to focus on how to build flashing and weep systems at bomb beam locations. This is a key element of how to build a wall that performs well and meets code. Masonry walls are uniquely suited for drainage. When the concrete masonry units are placed, their cores line up to create vertical drainage patterns. Water will drain via these paths until it reaches a horizontal interruption. And when this happens, we need to make sure that water can immediately drain to the exterior. That's the role of flashing and weeps. Where would an interruption in the path occur? Commonly, there will be interruptions at bond beams or lintels that are in the wall for structural reasons. These horizontal reinforced structural elements are located at the base of the wall, at wall openings such as windows or doors, and at locations where the wall supports floors or roof structures. CPG has created a flashing map that details these locations. One typical location for a bond beam would be at grade, at the top of the foundation wall. Here we've built the foundation wall, and the bond beam is being built at grade with knockout bond beam units. We place the horizontal rebar in the units and fill with grout. This will be a partially reinforced wall, as can be seen from the spacing of the vertical rebar. This stem wall was poured in place, but if it was built with concrete masonry units, the same consideration for flashing above it would apply. We're building this single wide wall using SpecBrick WCT units from the Concrete Products Group. Spec brick will give us the look of brick, but with the economy of single wide construction. WCT, or water control technology, offers some enhanced moisture control features. It's available on all types of concrete masonry units, including spec brick. These features create a wall system that resists moisture penetration. First, the units and mortar in this wall have integral water repellent in the mix design which drastically limits moisture penetration. Second, we recommend the use of a colorless, breathable, post-applied water repellent, which addresses the slight chance of moisture penetration if there are small voids in the wall over time. If any moisture at all is able to get past these barriers to reach the interior of the wall, the WCT blocks have a patented design that features sloping top surfaces to the webs. These sloped features direct water to drop down into the cores of the wall and exit the water via the wall flashing system as opposed to traversing to the interior side of the wall. The nice thing about WCT design is that, as you can see, the WCT drainage features are invisible when placed in the wall, so you can use them to build ends or corners of the wall also. They are no more difficult to lay than ordinary CMU. The first course of spec brick WCT is laid above the bond beam and the cells are filled with grout. Before laying the next course of the units, we will build the flashing and weep system. There are a variety of good approaches to building flashing and weeps in masonry walls. One system that is often used is the block flash pan flashing and weep system. Block flash is a combined flashing and weep system. It includes a pan that covers each block cell a bridge that spans to the next unit, and a weep spout that allows the water to drain to the exterior of the wall. In addition to the pan and weep piece, we also use a mesh piece that protects the flashing and weep from being plugged by mortar droppings during construction. Block flash is easy to install. The units are placed above the cells of the blocks below. If you reach a cell where reinforcement is placed, the bridge on the adjacent block flash units can be removed so that the unit will fit. The block flash units are centered over the cells and the blocks below so that there is room for the bed joint or mortar. The first course of spec brick units are placed above the flashing and weep system. The block flash flashing and weep system allows a full one inch mortar bed uh, joint which preserves the flexural strength of the wall at the flashing. The mortar joints on this course and the succeeding courses are tooled to have concave shape, which minimizes ledges that might otherwise be collection points for moisture on the exterior of the wall. Of course, it's also important to assure that the weep spout is clear and functioning. 
additional courses of spec brick are added. Horizontal joint reinforcement is placed with the ends lapping at least 6 inches at the horizontal spacing of 16 inches, and this detail makes the wall resistant to the formation of cracks. Combining all these features creates a comprehensive approach to weather protection. If you have any other questions, please contact us at concreteproductsgroup.com or for specific details, info at concreteproductsgroup.com.